So guys, in my video I'm gonna show you every little step how to activate and run regional Steam games. Um, if you're not interested in that kind of long video, you can click somewhere here or just follow these steps. Um, we're actually gonna start here and go a little bit over if it's legal or not and anything else. So let's just see, I use the site G2A because I have very good experience with it and it normally has pretty good prices. So um, I'm gonna explain you real quick how I see the whole legal part. Normally you buy a key, let's say Dying Light, um, it's a, it's an, um, what you call it, a digital key, you pay 40 bucks for it. Um, you can normally activate it over the street or over Steam. Um, but if you would buy Dying Light, um, the Russian version, you would pay a lot less um, and you would get a Steam gift. So what are doing, what are what they are doing here? Sorry, is actually um, a little bit a trick from the legal side because um, the only legal thing from buying and VPNing a game is buying it. So let's say you log in to a Mexico VPN and at that point where you click um, accept, um, I've read the condoms, petition, blah, 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 whatever you call that guy, however you call this, um, you basically say I'm Mexican, but you're not. So you're doing something illegal and that could get you banned. But um with the steam gift it's a little bit other uh it's it's a little bit other way so i think you're pretty good if you're using the steam gift way and i hope you're not getting banned but i'm not taking any uh, response for anything you guys do so whatever let's say you have your key and then you could normally if you buy the normal version activate it over steam but because you got the VPN version, we need to activate our VPN. So I use this program for that. Um, I can make you guys a tutorial how to use that if I think I don't really already have one, but I'm not sure. Um, it's basically a pretty good program where you can just easily select out of what region. Um, I want to VPN in, so let's say Russian. Um, decent line speed, not really good, but I can live with it. And then you're connecting your whole PC through it, so whatever you do over this PC right now is gonna be in Russian. Normally it takes a little bit longer, eh, uh, shorter. But it could be because of the line speed. Oh, all right, we're just gonna try another one. Let's see, there you go. That's normally how it goes. And if I now go on like, um, um, like IP something, um, my IP is like Russian. I don't know how to check that right now. Um, as you see. So now I could activate either over the browser with the link um, or over Steam, my Steam gift or my Steam key. Um, the other way you can do it is if you're using some Chrome plugin and just doing it over the gift in the browser, you could um, just VPN or proxy your um, browser in to the country where you want but um, I think the whole PC is just a little bit safer so let's say you have your game activated you're gonna start your um, you're gonna start your your download and what you can do then is close Steam deactivate your um, your VPN and then open Steam again, download it completely, and then close Steam again, activate your VPN, blah, 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 blah. 
So let's just say we started a download, we deactivated that, we downloaded, and now we have the game downloaded basically. Uh, I hope you can guess, you guys can follow me. So what we did right now is basically activated the VPN, started Steam, and activated the game, and then started a download. And now you could possibly like now here right here where is there, there's the slash, uh, you could close Steam, close the VPN, download on your normal line speed, and then open up Steam again with the VPN. So as you can see, I'm like in, in Russia somewhere right now, I have the currency here, and if I would buy right now some game here with that price, I would do a little illegal thing. So that's just not that do, do that. So now we're in the VPN, and uh, let's say I downloaded my game, I actually have Dying Light here, and it's actually the Russian key. So we can just do this. Um, we need to start it one time um, till the point where the game is actually up. So I get, always when I start a, a game, I get like three black, I have three monitors and I get three black screens. So I hope you guys see something right now. I'm just gonna all the four out of it. Um, but this might take a while. My PC is a little bit over happical with those Nvidia games. Um, so after you started the game, you can just close it or like at least go through the, go to the menu of the game or however, if you wanna go sure. Just gonna task manager out of this. But so you started it, and after what's important, you started it in the VPN, and after that, you are gonna um, make a link to your desktop. By um, it's here, like the fourth from the bottom. Um, and then just go into it with um, I don't know what's Eigenschaften, it's the German word but um, and copy the last number here so that's for every game that's another number so don't use this on some other game but for your game just copy that number um, and what you basically can then do just look on my map so uh, look on my notepad so I don't tell the shit. Um, create the desktop shortcut um, and then go into your library where your game is installed. So I'm pretty sure I installed it on my SSD, right? Um, and then you see, here's my game. So basically at the right point. Um, and then you create a little thing, it's called Steam app and then id um, so don't get confused if you're making a text or tie um, don't make don't make the double text so let's say don't write into that new thing here write in like steam app id and then like point Text of T because it's already in text of T and then uh, now the number uh, now the fucking name would be wrong. So if you're doing it over the way new and then um, txt data or txt uh, dot document however you call that um, it should be all right. So just this little thing with the number in here. Let's just check it's the same number um, and then save it. Um, I'm just, I can't say right now because the next step is um, make it um, write only or read only. Yeah, read only, not write only. Um, so basically just go in here, properties, properties is the right name, and then make it uh, read only. After you did that, let's see, um, deactivate your VPN. So oh, with this program, we can just disconnect all lines and then close it so we get a little bit more uh, performance. And after we did that, 
we can go into Steam and then we see I already have that little link here but I can just do it new I guess so we deactivated via the oh I forgot one step here very good that I thought of it restart Steam <laughs> I actually wrote it down but I almost forgot it here so just uh, if you're wondering after every activate or deactivate of a VPN you need to restart your Steam because your Steam doesn't really care if you switch lines but that's weird okay let's try that again um, but um, if you're activating and or if you've restarted normally checks where you are so I hope it's gonna be euro again so that's normal um, if I would now switch in uh, a Russian VPN and then try to activate dying light it would still say like you're in Germany you can't do that so I would need to activate uh, my VPN restart Steam blah blah so I think you're getting what I'm saying um, so basically we just created a thing we created a little txt data uh, sorry txt data uh, document and then we deactivated the VPN restart Steam and um, now we're gonna add the game um, over Steam not knowing game however you call that um, basically you just go on the top button there um, go and search manual and then find your game again like normally it's on your C and then Steam and then something but by me it's a little bit other located sorry for my English I'm like not that it's not my English day to day normally my English is a little bit better but if you're in here uh, just um, choose the the exe data or the exe data um, as you can see if it's called um, program or something back here and it has another logo um, normally pretty easy to find and then just say open and then um, choose programs um, yes I can do thing <laughs> I don't know um, and then you have this little thing under the um, Dying Light, it's called Dying Light Game. So it's basically just the game. It's called a little bit other because it's the XC that I, but um, you can get achievements like you play the normal game, as you can see here, um, or not. I got the normal achievements and I just play over this. So if it should work, uh, it should work if I play if I click play it should start and everything should be all right so let's hope and if I got this recording and it's starting perfect so basically that's the whole way um, of um, VPNing and activating a game and then using the game afterwards with all the VPN so you basically can start the game dying light in this um, in this thing uh, all the time with other VPN and you're good so um, here are the steps again let's just go over it where you click view buy a game or a key or a gift or whatever um, then you activate your st uh, you activate your VPN either over browser or whatever but then you need to restart Steam if you're doing it over the client um, and after it is in the right country, loc location, whatever uh, you need to activate your game, start the download and then you could uh, deactivate everything again, download on your line speed and then activate everything again so basically run the game in the VPN Steam um, and after you uh, start out the game once, uh, you can create a desktop shortcut and then make the Steam app T, TXT, the tie, 
and make it read only, deactivate your VPN, restart Steam and add the game and you're good. So I hope you guys could understand something from what I was saying because it's really not my good English day today and I'm not finding the words I'm trying to use as you must probably noticed but I hope you guys um, can play your games and don't need to deal with VPN VPNing Steam every time you want to play so um, let's just uh, let me know in the comments how bad my English is so I feel a little bit better um, I know that was kind of like reversed psychology but whatever so uh, see you guys